Okay, so we put the rear of the car in the air, chalked the front wheels, and so the way that I did this is I lifted here since I have a subframe connector that makes it real nice, and then uh, I actually put my jack stands on the rear of the subframe connector. If you don't have a subframe connector, then the jack stands need to go right there on that torque box, and you just want them even, both sides, and even leave the jack under here as an extra precaution. Okay, so I removed all the lug nuts with the 13 16 socket and of course used a breaker bar to, to break them loose and with all of them out of the way now I'll just remove the wheel. I'm going to repeat that on the other side. Okay, next we're going to remove the exhaust system and there's a few ways you can do this. If you want to take it apart piece by piece, that's fine. I'm just going to unbolt it at the mid pipe and then I'm just going to basically remove it everywhere it's hung uh, with the hangers. Okay, next you're gonna to wanna to put some rags over your exhaust tip so you don't scratch anything as you're moving the exhaust around. Okay, and then next we just disconnected the exhaust from the mid pipe here. And as you follow the exhaust back, you're just gonna to go to these hangers here and just push them through. So you're just gonna to have to pry these off Whichever one, the top or the bottom, whichever one comes off easier. You just have to kind of push these through. A little bit of liquid wrench in here helps, and a pry bar if you need to. There we go, just popped it right out. I'm just finishing doing the same for that one. Okay, so. With both of these out of their uh, holders, now we're just going to lift up on the cat back and slide it forward, and it will come out of the back mount here. And now you can just pull that whole side of the uh, exhaust off. Now just repeat on the driver's side, pull that uh, side of the exhaust off. Okay, so the exhaust is off now. Just a quick review. We just removed the mounts here, here, or left it on, whichever one came off easier, and then pulled it away from the car on that mount. Uh, for a, a video, if you wanna see the video where I polish this uh, cat back to a nice mirror shine like this, I'll put the link to that in the description. Okay, next we're following the drive shaft here to where it meets the flange, and we're gonna remove the drive shaft bolts. Now you wanna use a multiple point, see how many there are in there? It's 12 point, 12 millimeter. Okay, so with the bottom two bolts exposed here, we're gonna go ahead and break those loose. There's one. And two, sometimes you need a breaker bar for these. Okay, so I just put the car in neutral and the handbrake is off. So now I can spin this and expose the other bottom two bolts. And so I'm gonna need to pull the e-brake again and or put the car in gear so that when I go to break this loose, it doesn't spin. So I'm gonna go to pull the e-brake. Okay, e-brake's been pulled, so now get onto these two. There we go. Now you can see I also used an extension because uh, the socket sometimes, if you just have the little socket in here, the, the uh, ratchet head won't fit. So sometimes you need an extension to kind of get past that. But now that these are all broken loose, I'm gonna remove them and just slide the drive shaft off. Now just go through and remove all the bolts. Four. Okay, so all of our drive shaft bolts are out. We're gonna take a screwdriver and just etch a little scratch in here and on the flange. And that way we know where to line this back up because you want it to, you want to line it back up when you put this back together. So it's, sometimes these get stuck on here pretty good and you just gotta get a screwdriver under here and hit it with a hammer and it will separate, so just don't let it fall on you. There we go. 
Okay. So once again, uh, the drive shaft will just kind of go forward and then down. Okay, so we're just going to leave the drive shaft in up there. You could pull it out towards you and it will come out, but it could leak transmission fluid. So it's going to be out of our way here. It'll be fine. Just kind of resting on the exhaust there. Okay, so now we're going to go after our ABS sensors, which are those right there. And so it's just that T40 is the size. It's a Torx. And we're just going to undo that bottom bolt here and the, it'll slide right off. So uh, here's what it looks like. So you can see it's a Torx multiple point. Okay, so that T40, we removed that bolt. Now we can move the whole ABS sensor off of the differential and let it just hang up in there. And then there's just one uh, on the other side, same thing, just remove that one as well. And so to remove those sensors, just so you know, I used an extension here just to get in there. And just make sure you have a real good bite on it so you don't strip it. The next step is to remove the half shaft. Now I'm not going to do it the same way that I did in the past where you need a 36 millimeter socket. Some people may not have that. Um, and there's two ways of doing it anyway, so I'm going to show you the second way in this video. If you want to see the traditional way, just go ahead and check out the link in the description. It'll show you the way I did it in the past, but that 36 millimeter nut tends to break and there's other issues that you might have with it. So uh, the way I'm doing it here is just basically unbolting the hub and the rear tie rod end and then just pulling uh, the whole assembly away. Okay, so next we're going to remove the tie rod bar that's coming through here. So we're going to use a 13 down here and a 15 up there. And we're just going to re remove this bolt here. Okay, so with that bolt removed, now this... Uh, Rear tie rod here can move with the whole axle shaft. Okay, so now we just remove this one as well. So the bolt just came out of it. 13 millimeter on the bottom, 15 millimeter nut on the top. And there is a spacer on the top of this as it swings out. So you can see how easy this goes in and out when the hub's still all connected. So you want to do this part first, both sides. Okay, next you're going to take an 18 millimeter socket on both sides here and break these loose. Just turn them opposite directions, both counterclockwise. We'll remove that top bolt. And if my friend Patrick's watching, he's probably very envious of this beautiful non-ground down IRS bolt. <laughs> okay, so 18 millimeter nut, 18 millimeter bolt. And just remember that orientation. In fact, if you want, you can put it back through so you remember. Okay, now coming on the inside of the wheel, same thing. If you can see that, there's 18 millimeter on each side. Okay. Slightly lift and you can pull that one out. Okay, so now you just want to come in here with a pry bar and put it right up in there and give it just a little push. And that uh, half shaft will slide out. Okay, so now we're going to break a few things loose but not remove it quite yet. So at the back of the differential you have a 12.12 .12 millimeter, at least this size is, and this might be aftermarket because it has the brace. but. Uh, you're gonna do 12.12 millimeter socket to break those two loose. And then on the front, it's gonna be these ones. So you have this bar that's coming through here. Okay, don't, don't get confused with this dampener. That's just a piece of rubber. Uh, so right here, it's gonna be a 15 millimeter on the bottom and an 18 millimeter on the top nut. So we're just gonna go ahead and break loose those two on each side and these two right now. Uh, this is the point where this differential could come down, so just break it loose, but don't remove anything yet. We wanna put a, a jack under here and support it once we remove those two. Okay, so all of our bolts are broken loose, so now we're back here, and it's smart to take the top one out first so that it's not in your way. 
this top one seems to come out all the way um, with this IRS brace on here the bottom one actually doesn't come out all the way but as long as it's loose um, see it'll hit but as long as it's cleared the actual diff cover the stock diff cover it's outside of the mount then that's fine uh, so now you can see she's about ready to come out so we're going to put a uh, jack right here to support it and then move on to those front bolts okay so we got our nice jack up in place here and so now we're just going after these bolts here so once again it's 15 millimeter on the bottom and 18 millimeter on top so that's why we have a wrench on the top 15 millimeter on the bottom now for the front mount, you'll see this bar that comes through here. And what we want to do is loosen it up. So we're going to remove those front two bolts here. Um, but uh, the IRS is still going to be in there pretty firm because of all these bushings and shims and everything that are still in there. So what we want to do is loosen up this bar. And so you're going to remove these two bolts here. And then if you follow the bar all the way to the end, you're going to find a 15 16 nut. And the other side is 22 millimeter for this uh, bolt that holds the uh, control arm in. And that way it's going to loosen up this bar so we can drop this out. So you're going to take that rather large 15 16 wrench and you're going to put it on the nut. And then a 22 millimeter uh, socket for the front bolt. And so as you start to uh, break these loose you want that bolt to start to come out as you see here but you don't want it to come out all the way or it'll be hard to line up and so as you can see there's still threads sticking out on the end of that bolt and if you follow the differential back you'll notice you're already up against uh, the mounting points here so the differential can't really come back so you have to keep turning and removing this bolt until basically the bar can clear it. Okay, so I've taken my transmission jack and I've put a ratchet strap around the differential to keep it good and tight so it doesn't fall off because it is pretty heavy. And as you'll notice now, we've removed that bolt just enough to where the brace is coming off but the bolt's still holding the control arm in because we don't want to have it come all the way out yet. And so uh, now you can see the bar can uh, pretty much just come off it's loose okay with this bar unbolted you'll just have to wiggle it around push it you know towards one side of the car and then just get it out and set it aside and now the whole differential can just drop straight down